St. Kitts and Nevis is shifting away from its heavy reliance of its citizenship by investment program, which has long been a key revenue source for the nation. Prime Minister Dr. Terence Drew recently introduced the Sustainable Island State Agenda, a new development strategy aimed at diversifying the economy and reducing dependence on CBI funds. Dr. Drew highlighted that while CBI contributed to over $2.5 billion from 2019 to 2023, its revenue is inconsistent and under pressure from international entities such as the United Kingdom and the European Union who are reevaluating the visa-free privileges tied to the country's passport. To promote lasting economic growth, the government will use existing CBI funds to support permanent job creation and local opportunities. The Sustainable Island State Agenda, which spans the next 15 years, is structured around the sustainable economic expansion and diversification pillars. Over the coming years, the agenda is expected to drive significant growth in sectors like construction, tourism, agriculture, and sustainability. Among the new projects are a new Bastier High School, funded by CBI, the JNF Climate Smart General Hospital, supported by Taiwan, a desalination plant, and an expanded power plant funded by Saudi Arabia. Dr. Drew emphasized the importance of this shift and urged citizens to embrace the plan as a pathway towards a more resilient economy.